So it's the beginning of September and I have a few spaghetti squash that are ready to harvest. I thought I would show you the difference between some that are ready and some that are not ready. So this is a great example of a couple that I'm going to harvest today that are ready. And some of the ways that you can tell that it's ready is it's bright yellow color. But additionally, you'll want to see that the stems are also nice and brown. So this one is completely dried up and it's ready to be harvested at the stem. Unlike this one down here, you can see that the stem is still rather green. So that one's going to stay on the vine to continue ripening. I'm just going to harvest off these two today. So something that's really important about harvesting squash, just like with a summer squash, you don't want to harvest it right at the base of the plant because it reduces its shelf life. So particularly with ones that are going to be sitting on the shelf for a while, you don't want to cut it down here close to the actual fruit. You want to cut it up where it connects off of the vine and this gives it more um, stem to be able to last longer in shelf storage. The shorter that you make it, the closer the oxygen can actually get into that stem and into the fruit. So you want to leave it a nice long stem. One of the easiest things to um, remember with that is to just cut it where it connects off of the vine. So here's another one right here at the vine. And you really want to use some sort of scissor or shear um, because it's quite prickly. So there you go, a couple of spaghetti squash that were ready to be harvested. I'm actually going to leave these outside in the sun for a couple of days and that's going to help cure the skin. It's the other thing that you can always check with them is if you can easily pier pierce the skin with your fingernail, it's not ready. This one I'm actually pushing quite hard to make that much happen, but you want to be able to just feel that it's close. Now, if you push hard enough on them right now, you could still puncture the skin and that's part partly why they're going to sit in the sun for a couple of days to help cure and harden the outsides of it. Now the same rule applies for some of these different varieties of spaghetti squash. Like this one here is getting close to being ready, but you can tell that it's not quite ready because the stem is not totally dried out. It is a different color and these stems are darker. And here's another example of this spaghetti squash in the back that still has a green stem. So it's going to stay on longer, but no matter what the color is of the squash that you're going to be um, harvesting, you want to make sure that the stem is nice and dried out and lets you know that it's actually ready to be harvested. So here's an example of a large colored spaghetti squash that was harvested too soon. And this I'll be able to still utilize um, to eat, uh, no problem, but it wouldn't be as shelf stable. One of the ways that you can tell is at the point that I cut it at, it's still pretty green inside. You want it to be a lot more dead and no green coloring inside. So if you can see the difference between that. If you harvest it early, like this one, just make sure that you use it soon. I'm still going to let this one sit out in the sun with the others and cure, um, but it's not going to be going on the shelf to be used for long-term storage. I hope that this was helpful for you for picking out summer squash and when it's ready to be harvested. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like the content and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more garden and horse farm related videos. Thanks again. Bye.